Many New Yorkers know the name Andrew Yang. In the race for mayor, he's dominated the polls and the headlines. But there are other contenders like Diane Morales and Sean Donovan who believe their best to lead the city forward. Tonight, they're making a final push. And, and the, what I call the political chattering class um, has been pretty dismissive of this campaign uh, from day one. For Diane Morales' campaign, this is a new day. Her grassroots operation is stepping up outreach. Just weeks ago, her team was mostly volunteers. Um, but now we actually have staff on the ground, um, and that is, that's a real game changer for us. Morales recently secured noteworthy endorsements, including the Working Families Party and former gubernatorial candidate Zephyr Teachout. I think it's getting to the point where we really can't be ignored. There's a, there's a powerful movement uh, growing here. A nonprofit leader and single mom, Morales is one of the most progressive candidates in the race, calling for the NYPD to be defunded by $3 billion and guaranteed housing for all. With more than $2 million in campaign cash on hand, Morales believes she'll be able to connect with more voters on the issues they care about. One is um, housing security and stability for people, and the other is, is, is you know, a combination of COVID you know, recovering from COVID and being able to work. Sean Donovan is another City Hall contender pushing to move up in the polls. A former cabinet secretary for President Obama, he's rolling out 70 plans for the city in 70 days. I gotta, let's be clear, we're running the campaign of ideas here at Team Donovan. Today, Donovan shared his thoughts on how to better support the city's Asian American and Pacific Islander communities from health care to safety. I would really expand, make permanent the office to prevent hate crimes at City Hall so that we can coordinate not just with police, but also with every uh, organization around New York. And on the campaign trail today in Manhattan's Chinatown. Thank you, Pix11, for being here. Let's go, New York City. Andrew Yang was endorsed by the AAPI Victory Fund, a group focused on mobilizing Asian American and Pacific Islander voters. And in Midwood, Brooklyn, Yang also picked up the backing of Jewish lawmakers, including Councilman Carmen Yeager and Assemblyman Simka Eckstein. And several of the candidates spent the day preparing for tonight's 6.30 p.m. debate hosted by Univision. They'll be tackling some of the issues that directly impact Spanish-speaking New Yorkers. Reporting from City Hall this evening, Ayanna Harry, PIX11 News.